Kimet, the eighth largest city of Hungary, was the birthplace of Zoltan Kodai. Living 86 kilometers away from Budapest, he was more concerned with visiting remote villages from his homeland to produce phonographic cylinders of the oral tradition and music of the peoples than visiting the capital. He published a thesis regarding the strophic nature of these folk songs. In the meantime, he had been teaching his friend Bella Barto the techniques he had found for collecting folk song data. Kodai mixed Western music with that of Slovakian, Bulgarian, and Albanian folk songs in addition to other Eastern European countries' music. As evidenced in the Kodai method, Zoltan Kodai was a music educator deeply involved in reforming elementary and middle school music. Starting with easy music that children were able to grasp, Zoltan would progressively build upon elementary forms until the class was using more complex music, Landis, 1972. According to Wheeler, 1985, in the third edition of his book, Orf and Kodai, adapted for elementary school, Kodai students each began listening, moving to music, and singing. It was only after the students knew the materials that he introduced the staff. Within most of Kadai's concepts were elements of existing music education procedures of the day. It was the work of Emil Joseph Cleve, which Zoltan borrowed in order to fashion his own unique system of rhythm syllables. Kadai expresses quarter notes by the syllable ta, for example, eight notes by tt, half notes by tao, dotted half notes by ta o o, and whole notes by ta o o o. The fact that Kodai encouraged his class to clap, march, run, or walk in time with these rhythms illustrated his knowledge of Do Kraus, an educator who was especially known for having students internalize rhythms. It is important to note that no matter the context, rhythmic to melodic, Kodai would always start from a developmentally easy beginning and add complexity to lessons only after the children began to grasp the concepts that were presented. While he moved students from diatonic to pentatonic scales, it is conceivable that children are quite capable of moving beyond such elementary scalar activities to begin to take on more sophisticated modal passages in music. In addition to being a visual aid, Kodai developed his hand signs to denote pitches that were stable or resting and others that were unstable or moving towards another pitch. Within the system, fa points to me and t points to do.